solving inequalities is almost the same as solving equations. There is a difference that you need to be aware of, and that is if you multiply or divide by a negative number, the inequality sign will flip over. So a bigger than will become a less than. A less than or equal to will become a bigger than or equal to. You should be able to avoid having to multiply or divide by a negative number. But if you do, you need to know that the inequality sign will flip over. Okay, let's look at these examples. The first one says solve 3n plus 2 is bigger than 17. So to solve, I want to get n by itself. I want to get rid of a plus 2 first. So I get rid of a plus 2 by taking 2 away from both sides. So if I take 2 away, that will leave me just 3n on the left side, and it's bigger than 17 take away 2, which is 15. So 3n's are bigger than 15. I want to know what 1n is, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So that means that 1n is bigger than 15 over 3, which is 5. So n is bigger than 5. That's the answer. For the second one, 2n minus 7 is less than or equal to 12. I want to get rid of my minus 7 first. I'm going to get rid of a minus 7 by doing the opposite of minus 7. So plus 7 to both sides. So that leaves me with 2n is less than or equal to 12 plus 7, which is 19. I've got 2n, 2 times n, n is times 2 at the moment. I want to get rid of that times 2, so do the opposite of times in by 2, which is dividing by 2. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and the answer is n is less than or equal to 19 over 2, or if you want to write that as a decimal, that will be 9.5. Okay, two questions for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. Okay, the first one, we've got 5n minus 9 is less than 31. So I'm going to get rid of a minus 9. So the opposite of minus 9 is plus 9. So a plus 9 to both sides, which leaves me with 5n is less than 40. 31 plus 9 is 40. So I've got n times 5 at the moment is less than 40. To get n by itself, do the opposite of times n by 5. Divide by 5. So that leaves me with n is less than 8. And the second one, 6n plus 7 is bigger than or equal to 31. I'm going to get rid of a plus 7 by minusing 7 from both sides. So I've got 6n is bigger than or equal to 31 take away 7, which is 24. So n is times by 6 at the moment. To get rid of a times by 6, I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So n is bigger than or equal to 24 over 6, which is 4. Okay, another couple of examples. We're going to, again, just follow the steps of solving equations, doing the same to both sides. So I'm going to expand this bracket first. So I'm going to leave 24 as it is. It's bigger than or equal to. I'm going to expand the back bracket, so 3 times 2a is 6a, and 3 times 5 is 15. So I want to get a by itself. I'm going to start by taking away 15 from both sides. So I've got 6a plus 15 at the moment. To get rid of a plus 15, I'm going to take away 15. 
So 24 minus 15 is 9. So I've got 9 is bigger than or equal to 6a. And a is times 6 at the moment. So I'm going to divide by 6. Divide both sides by 6. So 9 divided by 6. 9 divided by 6 is bigger or equal to 6a over 6, which is a. And I can simplify 9 over 6. They're both in the 3 times table. So that's 3 over 2. 9 is 3 threes, 6 is 2 threes. So 3 over 2 is bigger or equal to a. And if I want to write a first, a is on the smaller side. A is less than or equal to 3 over 2. So I can just write A is less than or equal to 3 over 2. And if I wanted to write that as 1.5 as well, I could. The second one, I've got an unknown on both sides. I've got 2B on the left side and 5B on the right side. I'm going to start by getting rid of the smallest b. So I'm going to take 2b away from both sides. 2b is less than 5b. So I'm going to get rid of that one first, which will leave me with a positive b. So if I take 2b away from both sides, on the left side, I've got negative 7 left. The sign is less than, so negative 7 is less than. 5b take away 2b which is 3b plus 11. So I want to get b by itself. I'm going to get 3b by itself to start with. So I'm going to take away 11 from both sides. I've got minus 7, negative 7, take away 11, which is a negative 18. Negative 18 is less than 3b. And I'm going to divide both sides by 3, which gives me negative 6 is less than b. And if I want to write b at the front, b is on the bigger side, b is bigger than negative 6. So I can just rewrite it as b is bigger than negative 6. Okay, two for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. Okay, the first one, I'll start by expanding the brackets. So 4 times t is 4t. 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. And that is less than 2. I'm going to plus 28 to both sides. So that leaves me with 4t is less than 2 plus 28 is 30. And then dividing both sides by 4, t is less than 30 over 4. And if I half top and bottom, that will be 15 over 2. That's as simple as it gets. You could write it as a decimal, which would be 7.5, but a fraction is a perfectly good answer. And the second one. I'm going to get rid of the smallest p first. So I'm going to take 6p away from both sides. Which will leave me with 7 is bigger or equal to 8p take away 6p is 2p plus 31. I want to get p by itself. So I'm going to take 31 away from both sides. 7 take away 31 will be negative 24. Negative 24 is bigger or equal to 2p. Halving both sides will give me negative 12 is bigger or equal to p. And if I want to write p on the front, p is on the smaller side. So I can write p is less than or equal to negative 12.
Okay, three questions to finish up for you to try. So pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, question one. Solve 2m minus 9 is less than or equal to 13. So we want to get m by itself. At the moment, we've got a minus 9. To get rid of that, we'll plus 9 to both sides. So that will leave us with 2m is less than or equal to 13 plus 9, so 22. To get m by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 2. So halving both sides gives us m is less than or equal to 11. Question 2. We'll start by expanding the bracket. So 2 times 4m is 8m. 2 7s are 14. So 8m plus 14 is bigger than 38. We want m by itself, so we're going to take away 14 from both sides. Which leaves us 8m is bigger than 24. And then dividing both sides by 8, 24 over 8 is 3. So m is bigger than 3. And question 3, I've got an m on both sides of the equation. I want to get rid of the smallest one, which is minus 1m, negative 1m. So I'm going to plus 1m to both sides. So I've got 3m minus 5 is less than or equal to 16. I'm going to plus 5 to both sides. So I've got 3m is less than or equal to 21. And dividing both sides by 3, that leaves me with m is less than or equal to 7. If x is less than negative 2, and I multiply both sides by negative 1. So if I multiply x by negative 1, I'll get negative x. And if I multiply negative 2 by negative 1, I'll get a positive 2. And if you multiply or divide by a negative number, the sign will flip over. So I had a less than sign, so that will become a bigger than sign. So let me show you this works. If I plus x to both sides now, I'm going to have 0 is bigger than 2 plus x. So I just plus x to both sides. Now I'll subtract 2 from both sides. So that's going to give me negative 2 is bigger than x. x is on the smaller side, so I can rewrite this as x is less than negative 2. So I started with x is less than negative 2, and I finished with x is less than negative 2.